Hi, I'm Caleb Horst for CellScale Biomaterials Testing. Today I want to demonstrate a new software feature. Previously, test protocols were either displacement controlled, based on the motion of the actuators, or force controlled, based on feedback from the force sensors. This new feature enables real-time image analysis to support user-defined protocols based on the specimen strains in the region of interest. This is a game changer. It eliminates test variability caused by grip slipping and localized specimen deformation outside of the gauge area. Let's take a look at what this looks like for a biaxial test. To show this new feature, I'm just going to skip over all the aspects of loading and, and mounting the specimen and setting up the protocol and just focus on what's new here. I'm going to open, I've got a protocol here where I'm stretching the specimen by 10%. And this would normally be done by, by increasing the spacing between the grip tips by 10%. But instead, I'm going to take this and change the protocol to be strain from image. So now it's going to be that the specimen itself, as it's in, analyzed during the test, is going to increase by 10% in size. I'll just speed this up so that we can see this a little bit better. And um, here, it, we've the software has automatically placed the, rec the, the rectangle in the middle of the specimen. I could change that if I wanted to, but that actually looks pretty good. It's well positioned in the middle of my specimen. I'm not tracking the rake tips themselves. I'm tracking kind of the center region of the specimen. And when I run the test, um, there's some options here. I'm just going to optimize the camera settings, contrast and brightness of my image. And then I'm going to optimize the tracking points automatically. So the software's move my points around just a little bit to make sure that there's a nice feature there for the software to use. It's giving me the feedback that we now have a good feature quality. So everything looks like it's going to go well. And then I'll proceed with my test. I'm not worried about temperature for this test. And so here the test is running now, and I've asked for 10% strain in X and Y. And you'll see that the displacement in X and Y even though this is a square specimen, it's not exactly the same. And this highlights the need for this, uh, this improvement to the software. So now, previously, it would have just moved the X and Y in the same displacement, but that didn't always result in the same strain in X and Y, which is what I want for my test data. This helps me to make sure my test data from one, text, one test, one specimen to the next is uh, more similar, and it helps me with constitutive modeling when I have data with prescribed uh, strain ratios in X and Y. Thanks for watching, and if you have any further questions or comments, please contact CellScale for more information.